After months of non-stop researching my heritage in my PJs on my couch, I finally left the safety of my home and ventured out into the world on my very first research adventure. My destination, Cape Sable Island or Cape Island if you're from the area. My great-great-grandmother was from the island, and through her, I can trace my ancestry back to Archula Smith, one of the earliest settlers of the island. Let's begin with a bit of history. Cape Sable Island is a little island in southern Nova Scotia. It was first inhabited by the Mi'kmaq. It was first charted by explorers from Portugal. Eventually, Acadians settled the island, and then when they were expelled in the 1750s, the island was settled by New England planters. 50 acres of land was offered to each male adult New Englander who wanted to move and live on the vacated lands in Atlantic Canada. Since the area was well known to the fishermen, many of them took advantage of the offer, including Archelaus Smith. Archelaus was born on the 23rd of April, 1734 in Chatham, Massachusetts to Deacon Stephen Smith and Bathsheba Brown. For work, he was a tanner, fisherman, and surveyor. And when he was 18 years old, he married Elizabeth Nickerson in their hometown of Chatham and went on to have eight children, four boys and four girls. In 1760, Archelaus had accepted the land grant and began the process of moving him and his family to Nova Scotia. He spent the summer in Barrington, fishing the area, kind of checking things out, but he got spooked by the local indigenous people and decided to abandon his plans to relocate to the island. However, his wife Elizabeth, who was still back at home with the family, decided not to wait any longer. She packed herself and the kids up, caught a ship, and headed up to Nova Scotia. Since this was a time way before phones and texting and emails, neither of them knew the other's movements, and they quite literally passed each other on their separate journeys completely unaware. So now Elizabeth and the family is in Nova Scotia, and Archelaus is in Chatham, presumably. For whatever reason, he is delayed and unable to return till spring. This means Elizabeth has to find a way to protect and provide for herself and her kids for the whole winter until he returns. The following spring, Archelaus found his family safe and sound, having been taken care of by the very same indigenous people that he originally was spooked by. In 1773, he and his family moved to Cape Sable Island where they owned from Northeast Point to West Head, which is a huge chunk of the island that measures about five miles. They built a home near the shore where they lived out their days, and Archelaus passed away in 1831, but many of his descendants still live on the island, and he is remembered still at the Archelaus Smith Museum where there are artifacts and mementos of the man himself and items showcasing the history of the island and what daily life was like so long ago. This year, unfortunately, it didn't open until the beginning of July and I missed it by a week. I'll likely go back soon and check it out and post an update when I can, but until then, if you're in the area, be sure to check out Cape Sable Island and the Archelaus Smith Museum. If you have a connection to or an interest in the history of the island, be sure to stop by the Barrington Historical Society and talk to another Archelaus Smith descendant, Stephanie. Stephanie is the lovely woman that runs the museum, I think, and who along with her sister Kim helped me with my uh, research on my on Archelaus's great 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 grandson Alamander and his daughter, my great grandmother my great 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 grandmother Lena who I would like to explore when I have a clearer picture of her life but I plan on going back soon when I have more time to spend. While I was down that way I took the opportunity to check out a few of my favorite things in the area. X-Files is absolutely one of my all-time favorite shows. Top five for sure. I love knowing that I live in a province that has its very own UFO story. And I would really love to take a deep dive into this tale sometime, but this trip was a quick one. And I only had enough time to pop by the crash site and visit with this adorable sculpture of a lobster alien and giant Adirondack chair. 
The quick version of the story is, on the night of October 4th, 1967, the local police department received many calls regarding bright lights in the sky and a large object that had crashed into the harbor. It was suspected at the time to be a plane crash, but multiple people witnessed the events and nothing was ever found. It's even now Canada's most well-documented UFO crash. If you're in the area, be sure to stop by the Shag Harbor Incident Museum and chat with one of the actual witnesses, Lori Wickens, a retired fisherman who now runs the center. After spending most of the afternoon at the Historical Society, I then headed off to my cozy little Airbnb on the island before heading down to the beach. drive down the street from my Airbnb is one of my absolute favorite Nova Scotia beaches, the Hawk, named after a schooner that washed up on the shore in 1877. It's a stunning white sand beach peppered with interesting rock formations, stories of shipwrecks, and what is known as the Drowned Forest. Low tide reveals hundreds of 1,500-year-old petrified tree stumps still rooted in the sand under the water remnants of a time when sea levels were much higher. When I was there, the tide was just going out, so I don't think I got the full scope of the scene, but it was remarkable nonetheless. So this is it. This is the kind of thing I plan on doing with my channel, visiting places I have a family connection to, learning about their lives and experiencing those places for myself. So stay tuned. Very soon I am going to Ireland and my next video in a few weeks will be my adventures there. So if you're not already here, there, head on over to Ship and a Star on YouTube, shipandastar.com or Ship and a Star on Facebook or Instagram to keep up with my journey. Wish me luck. See you soon.